there's been a new Palantir partnership, a new Palantir deal. At the moment, it seems like we're getting one after the other, which is so exciting. This one, I'm not seeing too many people speak about, so I wanna make sure I cover it. And excitingly, it is a UK partnership. So let's get into exactly what it is. Mawson Group and Palantir Technologies unveil AI solutions to revolutionize STEM recruitment. This appears to be a new partnership. I can't see that Palantir have previously worked with the Mawson Group anywhere. Maybe they have, but I can't find that information. So I believe this to be a brand new partnership. And the Mawson Group is actually a UK founded company that has a 50 year history. They have built a good reputation for themselves as a recruitment agency focusing on STEM and they operate in the UK, the US and in Canada. So before we talk about what Palantir is actually doing as part of this partnership, we need to rewind a little bit. We need to look at the bigger picture and actually discuss what the problem was that Palantir is then coming in to solve. So there is still high demand to actually fill STEM related job openings, but there does seem to be a little bit of a disconnect. There seems to be a little bit of a challenge in actually finding and retaining high talent individuals in this area in particular. And they've highlighted that the traditional recruitment methods that were being used are actually falling short. They're not doing the job anymore. So roll in Palantir. Palantir are gonna come in and actually bridge that gap by utilizing AI. The whole idea is that AI will actually help streamline and enhance the recruitment process. This is then meant to allow businesses access to a wider pool of ready and fit talent. So there are a few ways in which Palantir will actually be helping. Number one, data-driven recruitment decisions. We know that businesses work best. They get the best outcomes when they're actually making decisions based on their data in real time. Number two, AI enhanced candidate evaluation. Number three, enhanced communication and candidate experience. Reading through the article here that announced this um, partnership, we can see here that it says the Mawson Palantir partnership provides businesses with the opportunity to enhance their recruitment strategies using AI driven insights. These insights empower recruiters to make data driven decisions, allowing them to select candidates with the necessary skill set and allocate more time to ensure a candidate is a good fit for the company culture. By redefining the recruitment process, companies can reduce turnover rates and build a more robust, engaged workforce driving long-term success in the STEM sector. Additionally, the AI generates tailored communication highlighting specific strengths within applicants' CVs and updates candidates' profiles with key information from follow-up interactions. So basically what I'm hearing from this is going to be more personalized, it's going to be a lot quicker, it's going to save time, it's going to save money, and ultimately it's going to end up that more of the right people are in the right jobs. And then moving down here, we've got the Mawson Chief Revenue Officer, David, who is saying, we are very excited to collaborate with a world-leading AI partner in Palantir. Absolutely a world-leading partner a company that shares our commitment to driving innovation and growth in the STEM market. Our joint efforts will enable us to tap into new opportunities and create positive impacts on the UK STEM landscape. So why should you as a Palantir investor care about this? It's not the most flashy contract. It's not the most exciting work. It's not the biggest in terms of revenue, although we don't really know the revenue. I couldn't find that information, but it definitely won't be as big as some commercial contracts. But we should care. We should care about each and every one of these deals that are coming in because Palantir is still in its early stages. The more contracts we get, the more momentum we build, the more the name gets out there, the more reputation we build and so on and so forth. This collaboration is another example. It's another way to showcase how Palantir is expanding into new market areas. This is the recruitment industry. You know, we have commercial contracts popping up all the time and whenever it comes that there's a new deal with a company representing an industry that maybe we haven't heard so much about or we haven't heard recently. That's exciting. Like we always speak about on this channel with Palantir, total addressable market is big. Palantir offer agnostic solutions. They are not restricting themselves to just one industry. So ultimately, what we wanna be seeing as Palantir investors is that we just see them proliferate into all sectors. So whenever I see that they're working with something from this, someone from this sector, this sector that I haven't heard about before, I get very excited. So with this contract in particular, they are focusing on AI driven recruitment solutions. Now that does seem quite niche, but there are many recruitment companies out there. There are many companies even that aren't recruitment companies that have a HR recruitment department that could benefit from this. 
So what I'm thinking here is that this could potentially open up additional revenue streams for Palantir in the future. It could lead them to new opportunities down the line, especially when they're saying that they are building several new AI enabled products in the pipeline powered by API. And remember, this is helping them broaden their reach, broaden their roots within the UK market. We obviously had the big NHS deal that got a lot of visibility, a lot of attention, but we haven't really heard that much in terms of the UK market since then. We've had AIP uh, boot camps run in the UK. There has been stuff happening, but nothing massive to report on. This isn't massive. You know, it's not the biggest contract, but it is showing us that they are still working to build relationships across the world outside of the US commercially as well. This is just a small segment of my whole show. So if you wanna watch the entire show, I will leave it linked in the description below. If you want to watch these episodes ad free, get exclusive and extended content and a bunch of other perks, become an insider of the Inner Circle Vault. Link in the description.